Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. Happy Easter! Chip? Yeah, you can eat it. Yay! Oh, that is storm. <laughs> yeah, Jackson storm. Jackson storm. What is it? I am so glad I am filming because they are all having such huge reactions. I can't even process. So I'm so excited to go back and rewatch this footage. I've never seen the twins this excited. Like this is so cute. <laughs> What'd you get? Yes, <laughs> that's stamps. What'd you get? What'd you get? You wanna open it? What's so funny? What do you see? She just now saw her bunny. Did you find your bunny? Did you, okay. you see your airplane? Okay. And then a plane. You got a plane? You. Gus is like, what's going on? There was a bunny in here earlier. Uh, oh, Macy, come here, come here. There's eggs everywhere. Whoa. Do <laughs> <laughs> you see a pink? The, the pink ones are for Macy. See, look, you put them in your bucket. What'd you get? A truck? What's that? A Trick Jeep, but it's like neon green. <laughs> oh, you did? If 
find the next egg. Okay, it's much later and it's time for our Easter party. I had so much fun this morning watching the kids freak out over all of the Easter stuff. I knew that the twins would be really excited, but I didn't think it would be like that. That was so fun as their mother to experience, especially after all of the thought and hard work that I put into helping out the Easter bunny this year. I was just really excited. It was really cute. So now we're just having a few friends over and we're having a little party. Wanna see my OOTD? You can see it in my very messy office because it still has. Oh no, we have ants. No! There's ants in here, shoot. I'll show you my OOTD and I'm wearing shoes on inside the house on my rug, which I don't think I've ever done before and I feel very insane about it, but I made sure they were clean, but I'm still like stressed about it. Anyway, here is my OOTD. Yes, I'm wearing Uggs, it's cold outside. I don't wanna wear heels or sandals or something. I want my toesies covered, it is cold. This is a romper that Eric bought for me last summer and I've never worn it. It is a romper even though it looks like a dress. It's got shorts and pockets. Are you kidding? It's literally like the best dress romper moment ever. I'm so excited, I love it. Sparkly Uggs, sparkly ears. I'm ready for Easter, let's do it. Outrageous. I cannot handle Maisie in that dress and those big nails. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. What you doing, Maisie Jo? I'm painting. You're painting? I'm going to go here. Okay. Go, Maisie, go. Do it. <laughs> there's a new game we're playing. We have a spoon in our mouth. You put the egg on the spoon and you press the egg the spoon. So there's two teams playing. There's a team across the room. <laughs> glow-in-the-dark Easter egg hunt and I'm so excited. So right now I'm lighting up all of the glow-in-the-dark eggs and it's a very complicated system what we're doing, okay? I did this for the first time last year. I did this for the first time last year and it was so fun. I had to do it again, but I made it a lot more complicated this year. So this year, each color egg means something different, but no one knows what each color egg means. So everyone's gonna be searching for eggs in the dark, trying to find them all. But some of the eggs you find are gonna be bad luck and some of them are gonna be good luck. There are eggs that mean you're gonna end up playing a game and if you win the game you get a prize there are eggs that will be punishments in the house there's all different kinds of games it is complicated and i am so excited i hope i didn't make it too complicated this year though because i do want people to be able to enjoy it i can't even tell what color these things are oh my gosh right now i'm just lighting up all my eggs okay this is taking a really long time and it's really hard to tell what color they are once they're lit up so i'm gonna go because i need to focus on this because literally all of these eggs are different colors but they don't look it right now once i light them up you can't even tell what color they are so this is a little complicated so i'm gonna go focus and i'll come back to you guys later how pleasing is that? I'm so excited! I'm currently hiding eggs all by myself, but it's so fun. Oh my gosh, okay, you can see 
soon, but look at this. That's my living room. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I know that the camera can't see anything right now, but this is very funny for me to watch. <laughs> the chaos. The first one was the scrambled eggs and I had to put the egg colors back together. Scrambled eggs, on your mark, get set, go. No, that's good. Okay, so now we're doing the white eggs. Yeah. Congratulations. You are now bunny. For the next 30 minutes, you can only hop. You can't eat or drink anything but carrots. Oh. And um, that's all. You're just bunny. <laughs> okay, so let's start again. Does anyone have yellow eggs? Yes. So this one was a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, there's teams of two. Now, one person's blindfolded, and they are the one who's putting together a puzzle. And then their partner has to tell them what pieces go together. So the person putting together the puzzle cannot see. They are blindfolded. There's chaos in here. And then the one in your left hand the right hand. Get to go! Get the egg in the cup, Rachel! Get the Galaxy Slime Kit, AirPods, EarPods, I don't know what they call them these days. Dolly Parton Perfume, Taco Bell gift card for $20. This Last Supper painting with paints included in the back, got it at Ross. A tumbler that's like a knockoff Stanley. $50 to Target, massage gun, a diaper, and this that has dollars in it. So in your eggs, there's a number that corresponds to each of those things. However, this year, it's a little more complicated because I'm insane. You can decide if you want to steal what he picked or if you want to open your egg. It's White Elephant. If you guys have played White Elephant, it can be stolen twice. It can be in the hands of three different people. Are you gonna open it? Oh, she opened it. I could have guessed. Oh, It's the next day. I didn't film anymore last night. It was just chaotic, but I also feel like none of that made any freaking sense, no matter how I tried to explain it. So I'm gonna explain really quickly the egg game if you're interested. If not, goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. There's actually a couple things I wanted to explain in this vlog really quickly. One, the white romper, obviously it disappeared right after I showed it to you. It's because when I was dying eggs with Maisie, she threw an egg into red dye and it splattered all around me, on me, on my white, beautiful romper and ruined it. So I had to change. Also, you might be wondering why we're not doing the Easter egg hunt outside and out playing these games in our beautiful back Backyard. It's because it was raining and thunderstorming on and off all day. So sometimes it was sunny, but then all of a sudden it would start pouring rain. It was a very weird weather day. So we had to do everything inside, which kind of sucked, but also it was kind of fun. It was different. Also, there's a lot of Easter egg hunts going on and I'm going to explain them all, especially the one that you just witnessed. Okay. First we had the Easter egg hunt in the morning for our kids. And then we had an Easter egg hunt for kids in the afternoon who came to our Easter party that were just for children. Each kid had a designated color so that they all had the same amount. So it was fair. Then the little kids had eggs with flowers on them. That's why you saw eggs with flowers. And it's because those eggs had things like Cheerios, and crackers and raisins and things for little tiny babies and kids so that you know they weren't just getting a bunch of eggs full of candy which they can't really eat. I mean they got some candy but like it was mostly like you know little kid snacks Cheerios and whatnot. Okay now on to the big game at the end. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to explain it all because it was a little too complicated but it was really fun. So basically I hid 70 eggs all around my house that were glowing. So I turned off all the lights as you saw the eggs were glowing and everyone went and found as many eggs as they could. They didn't know what eggs were good and what eggs were bad. Some were punishments, some were games, some were prizes, some were nothing. So you just collect as many as you can and you can take a gamble and guess what's going to be what. And after all the eggs are found, I reveal what they mean one at a time. So first we did the mixed eggs, which were mixed matched eggs. And there were five of those. And those people participated in a game, as you saw, where they had to take mixed matched eggs and take them apart and then put them back together with their right color. Whoever did it first won a prize. Next was the white eggs. And those people had to turn into bunnies. They could only hop or eat carrots for 30 minutes. Oh, by the way, I put pictures in eggs. So like if you 
got a white egg and you opened it up, I so like I go, okay, who got a white egg? Open it up and inside was a picture of a bunny. And then I go, okay, congratulations, now you're all bunnies and explain it. And so then the next one was the yellow eggs. Anyone who got a yellow egg, I said, okay, open your egg. Inside was a picture of a puzzle. So they paired up and they had to decide who was going to be the eyes of the puzzle and who was going to be blindfolded and actually put the puzzle together. So the person with the eyeball said, okay, I already explained this one, you saw it. Anyway, moving on. Next were the pink eggs. I didn't show you this, but there were light pink eggs and hot pink eggs. When they opened them up, the light pink eggs had a little picture of a tiny chick. The hot pink eggs had a picture of a hen and you had to pair up with each other if you had a hen and a chick. So hens and chicks had to pair up. This one was a punishment kind of. It was just mostly funny for me. The chicks were not allowed to talk anymore. They could only say tweet tweet unless they were talking to their mother hen. Then they could whisper in the mother hen's ear and the mother hen could speak for the chick. Also, if the chick wanted to eat anything, drink anything, go anywhere, the mommy had to do it for them. So if you were hungry, the whoever you partnered up with, whatever hen you partnered up with had to feed you, had to give you beverage, had to speak for you, everything. You couldn't do anything or go anywhere without your mommy. That only lasted for like 15 minutes, but that was very funny for me. And I didn't film any of that, unfortunately. Next was the orange eggs. If you got an orange egg, um, you opened it up, there's nothing inside. And that was the cleanup crew. So they had to clean up my house after the party was over. Blue eggs was the egg in the cup game that you saw where there's a string attached to a cup and they had to swing it without using their hands to get the egg inside of the cup. Rachel won that one. There were red eggs. Inside of the red eggs was candy. There was no game or anything attached to that one. It's just a red egg with candy in it. And then there were purple eggs and that was the raffle or the white elephant game. It was kind of a weird version of white elephant I had made up. So in each one of the purple eggs was a number and the number corresponded with a gift. Before you opened your egg, you could decide if you wanted to open it and see which prize you got or if you wanted to steal with someone who had already gotten a prize, if that makes sense. So right away went the Jesus painting, the AirPods and the cash and then people just started stealing everything from each other instead of opening up their eggs. The game lasted a really long time. I didn't really film any of it, but it was really fun. So those were all the games that I came up with with my eggs. I know it was complicated. It was really fun and I can't wait for next year to make it even more complicated. <laughs> Easter was so freaking fun. I put so much work into it and it just was a blast. I had just the best time ever and I'm so freaking tired. So please leave questions for Tortilla Talk because tomorrow's vlog, which is today for me. I'm just going to do a really simple little uh, tortilla talk video for you guys. So ask me lots of questions. I'm just going to sit and chill with y'all and answer all your questions about whatever you have questions about. Yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay.